then we're going to turn on the feet so that the toes are pointing towards the ceiling. The thighs are rolling in. The heels are reaching away from your hips. Your head is reaching away from your hips as well, getting long. And then keep the length, keep the feeling of openness and lift your right heel up off the ground. Let it hover there for a second. Lift your, pull your belly button, draw it down towards the mat underneath you. Lift your left heel up off the ground. And then squeeze both heels together and lift your mermaid legs towards an L-sit position. Keep them straight. Keep the toes flexing towards your face. And then once you're in your L-sit position, I'm gonna hold your legs there, reach them a little bit straighter. And then we're going to take your hands and first, you know, just reach all your arms and hands only towards your toes, but then look toward, look beyond your fingers Follow your hands with your head and your upper body, rolling up, trying to touch your toes. And then let your upper body roll back down ever so gradually, one vertebra at a time until your shoulder's down, your head is down, and then go again. Starting with the fingers, following with your head, and then your neck and your shoulders. T-spine rolling up, tapping, holding, squeezing, fingers to toes and then releasing and slowly lowering down. We'll do a couple more. So rolling up gradually, slowly, one section of your body at a time, upper body. Legs stay straight. Backs of the knees reaching away from you, right? And then upper body rolls down again. One more, fingers up, eyes up, head up. Everything up, tap, and then relax it down. Relax your arms down. You can put your arms at your sides now. Now, leave your legs where they are. We're gonna do a few butt lifts. You're gonna to try to lift just your sacrum off the ground and kick your feet a little bit. Try not to kick back uh, behind you. Try to go straight up. And it's just gonna be a little pulse. And then relax back down little pulse, maybe you catch a second of hang time, relax back down. You can use your arms to help you, but try to keep your head on the ground. For me, it's hard to define this just in my sacrum lifting. Try to find it. Try to lift just your sacrum up. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. And now you can cross your legs and roll through to a prone position. Your belly's down on your mat. I'm gonna do hip kickovers just once on each side. Let's start with left, uh, Let's start with left hand off to 10 o'clock. Right leg is gonna lift up. First, let's take this one step at a time. First, just extend your right leg as best you can. Squeeze your butt and your hamstrings on the right leg. And then have your right hand be gathered next to your chest. And then, you know, keep reaching through that right leg, but start to, start to lift your hip up as well. Start to open your hips off to the left. And reach across, open up until eventually your right foot may find the ground. If it does, then you're gonna kick down into the ground and you're gonna lift your right knee up towards the ceiling. And reach your left foot away from your head. Stay nice and long. Try to roll your left shoulder blade away from your left ear. Whatever setup 
your legs happens to be. There's a stretch for the pecs, as well as activation of the glutes. Do one more big breath. And then start to fold yourself back around to the middle. But keep your right foot high. Ring out that glute a little bit more and then drop it. And then switch this up. So we're going towards the right side. The right hand's gonna be at two o'clock. Left hand's gathered next to your chest. Left foot lifts in the air first. Both hips are down and you're just finding that hip extension, that glute activation, right? Maybe it helps to kick the top of your right foot into the ground. Find that hip extension some more. And then you're gonna find so much of it that eventually your left hip is gonna peel up and then you're gonna follow it. Follow your left foot around to the ground behind you. And then you can settle in. Find the exact setup that feels supportive for your neck. Opening along your chest. Reach your right foot away from you now, or away from your head. Turn your left foot knee, your left knee towards the ceiling. Two big breaths. One more big breath. And back around. Left foot raised high in the air. And then down slowly. All right. And then make your way to a down dog. Gather your hands next to your chest. Tuck your toes. Press up through a plank. And then lift your hips up by pressing your fingertips down. And then end up in your down dog. Ready to go. We're just gonna take a few reps, reaching the hips for, forward, looking forward, coming to a really long extended plank, which is also called a planche prep. So my shoulders are as far in front of my fingertips as I can possibly get them. I'm reaching my arms to straight. I'm tucking my belt a little bit towards my head, right? Reaching through my heels as well. And then I'm gonna soften my knees, Shift my hips back by pressing into my fingertips. Back to down dog. Breathe, settle, pedal it out, and then set it up again. Adjust the distance of the hands if that one didn't feel quite right. If you felt like maybe you could have gone farther forward or you were too far forward, make that adjustment and then start to shift forward again. Reaching out way over your fingertips, way forward. The higher you go, the better, actually. Try to lift your chest up. Lift your hips up, but still keep your belt tucked towards your face. Press your heels away from you. Three, two, one. Shift back to down dog. We'll do that one more time. Breathe. Tailbone up. Fingertips strong. Triceps turning down. And then reaching forward. Hips forward, eyes up. Breathe. Three, two, one. And back to down dog. All right, warm it up. So now we're gonna come to a regular plank now, which should feel super easy compared to what you just did. So set that up so your hands are right under your shoulders this time. Your feet are hips width apart. And then you're gonna shift your weight into your left hand, reach your right hand forward to keep your hips square to the ground. And then drop your heels off to the left and spin up to a side plank on the right side. Right hand in the air, left hand pressing firmly down, hips lifted like a rainbow. And then right hand comes back down, heels shift to the middle. You got your regular plank, tuck your belt towards your face, 
and then shift your weight into the right hand. Raise your left hand straight forward. Keep your hips square to the ground and then rise up. Reach your left hand into a side plank and let your hips drop off to the right. Press your right hand down and out like you're turning a doorknob and let that lift your hips up even more. Awesome. Let it sort of condense the area under and behind your armpit. Boom. And then left hand car wheels back down, hips to the middle, high plank. Drop down to elbow plank. Forms parallel. Palms pressing strongly into the ground. This is the last thing. Your hips are, your pelvis is tucked toward your face. Your heels are reaching back. We're gonna shift the weight into the left hand, left arm, reach the right arm forward. Lift the left foot up maybe. Woohoo! Put the left foot down, turn and raise the right hand up to a side plank with your elbow down. And maybe you feel like lifting the right leg up. And if you do scrunch, actually press your left hand and your left foot away from each other and make that rainbowy side plank strength. And then drop the right foot down in front of the left one, right forearm down, back to your elbow plank, same thing other side. And then we done. Shift your weight, left hand up, right foot up. Hold it for a second. Breathe your belly button towards the ceiling. Put the right foot down. Lift the left hand up, side plank. Maybe you wanna lift the left foot up as well. Starfish, awesome. Own the starfish. Lift your hips up a little bit more. And then drop the left foot down. Drop the left arm down. Drop the knees. Take a breath.